Welcome to Stuffing Whiskey. I'm Josh. And I'm Aaron. And today we're coming to you with a bonus episode because we were challenged by Lance of the Whiskey Tornado to tell you what our favorite whiskey is in our home right now. Hey, welcome to the channel, giving real world content to the real world whiskey consumer. Today, we're talking about the best bottle of whiskey that we have in our house. Lance from the Whiskey Tornado challenged us to this within the whiskey tube community, as we call it. And yeah, we're, we're super excited to talk about this topic. It's, it's a fun one for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Lance specified that it was bourbon with Aaron being more of a rye gal. She kind of struggled with this a little bit. Uh Actually, that's not true. <laughs> when I told her that Lance had called us out, the first thing she did was she was like, that bottle. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I proceeded to take, I don't know, two hours to figure <laughs> out which bottle I was gonna put as my yeah, number one. Yeah, the spreadsheet going. Yeah, it's I'm a mess. <laughs> so anyways, that's just the way it rolls around here. Yeah. But Lance called us out. We're happy to answer the call. This is a super fun topic. And kind of the idea behind this topic is to bring some awareness to other channels. So. We are a very new channel on YouTube at the moment. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to highlight a larger channel that has more of a following over a thousand subscribers, and then to highlight a smaller channel that has less than a thousand subscribers. So we were the less than a thousand. The two channels that we're gonna challenge for this before we get into the rules and tell you what our whiskeys are. First channel is gonna be the over a thousand subscribers channel, which is gonna be Scott from My Bourbon Journey. Mm -hmm. Scott was the first big channel to show us love. From what I've heard from other people, this is not new to Scott. Scott is just that guy. He loves to see the community built up mm -hmm. and like that rising tide lifts all ships mentality. And, and we love that around here because we're the same way yeah. coming from two photographer backgrounds. We very much like that inclusive community aspect. So we absolutely love Scott's channel. I watch Scott's channel. I've been watching Scott's channel for like well over two years now, just really? like looking at reviews of stuff he's done. I didn't know that. Yeah, and he's just really down to earth. It's just kind of a no nonsense approach to whiskey. It's not pretentious at all, mm. which is- I like that. That sounds relatable. That's yeah. kind of it's kind of the way we roll too. So the second channel with less than a thousand subscribers is Adriana from Whiskey Mountains. I mean- That's pretty cool. There's another yeah. girl in the whiskey space. Yeah. It's nice to see women enjoying whiskey and talking about it too. Yeah. Yeah, women can like whiskey too. So <laughs> Women can like whiskey. Yeah, so we're always happy to see a female voice in the whiskey community and we're happy to, at least in part, contribute one of those as well. So- Are you talking about me? I'm talking about you. Oh, That's you. <laughs> That's me. But the one thing I personally like about Adriana's channel, even though I do like to see her opinion on things, is that she, it's not just whiskey. Mm -hmm. You know, it's she's talking about going on hikes and going out into the mountains, like near where she lives. And we have our other stuff segment. That's just kind of, you know, we like to incorporate other things. We have other interests outside the whiskey space yeah. and it, they kind of all overlap and intertwine, we think. And it's just cool. It's cool to relate to someone on a whiskey level, but it's also cool to relate to someone on a level beyond whiskey. So we're challenging Scott from My Bourbon Journey and Adriana from Whiskey Mountains to tell us what your favorite bourbons are in your home that are open, that you actually drink, and then to challenge two other channels, one with over a thousand subscribers, one with less than a thousand subscribers. This is a fun challenge. I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. We might have to do some shopping after we see <laughs> what y'all have. Rule number one, you can only pick one whiskey, but you're allowed two honorable mentions. Yeah, and Lance said it's a whiskey that puts it puts the pause in you. And I was a little confused at first because like I had this image of Lance like laying down with a cat on his back, like kneading its paws into him. Oh and I was like, I, I don't know, like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what Lance is into. So I was, I was kind of wondering. And then I thought about it a little bit more and I think he means P-A-U-S-E and not P-A-W-S. So that was a little bit of a misunderstanding uh -oh. <laughs> on my part. I think it like puts the pause in you, like it makes you stop what you're doing and just appreciate it. Mm. So all jokes aside, you know, he said it's a whiskey that makes your toes curl. We tend to say it's a whiskey that blows your hair back. Mm. So we're looking for something that is like 
really just in your wheelhouse. Like it just hits you the right way. Rule number two, price and availability are off the table. So don't even pay attention to those. Rule number three is it has to be something that's actually open. You have to be drinking it. It can't be just like the first few ounces and you're saving the rest. You have to be into the bottle, past the shoulder. You're actually enjoying this whiskey. And rule number four, as we said, is you have to call out a channel with over a thousand subscribers and less than a thousand subscribers. With that said, let's get into our honorable mentions and what is our favorite whiskey in our home bar right now. Ladies first. All right. This still falls within the rules, but my honorable mention is Bullet Rye. You and Bullet. Because, so for me, an enjoyable sip is something that is easy. It do, I, I want to be out on the porch sipping it. I don't want to like have my hair blown back. I don't like that, to be honest with you. So this is a good old solid, nice rye whiskey. It has never disappointed me. And if I don't know what to drink, I like, and I'm, I'm panicking. I'm like, oh, do you have a bullet rye? You know, because in those situations where you panic, you need a bullet rye. Yeah. So this is my first honorable mention. My next honorable mention is another rye, the Willet rye. And for me, this is very much, it's really good. Um, it's higher proof than Bullet, um, which I tend to, this takes a little more, um, it's not as easy for me to drink, but I love the taste of it. It's got a lot going on. And this is also a bottle that Josh got me for my birthday this year. So it has some sentimental value. I think that does play a part for me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, and as you can see, that the rules technically were your favorite bourbon, but, but this wait. is, but Erin's more of a rye girl. So she's really like, she wanted to get these ryes in as honorable I did. mentions. I did. I was like, what would you like your honorable mentions to be? And she's like, two ryes. <laughs> but the bourbon that blows my hair back is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Yeah. Because I kid you not, this is like, this smells like, hold on, uh-uh. Like a man, a rugged man wearing a cardigan in a room full of books. <laughs> I mean, I can wear a cardigan in a room full of books. I'm not, like, I can't really qualify the rugged part, but mm, let me smell this. I don't know what it is. And I'm, yeah, this is, this is. This is it. This is it for me. This is all I need. If I only could have one whiskey or bourbon, anything, even even the rise, I would have this. I mean, you're dang near speechless. You're just. You're I know, just, and I don't know so why. Dang. I couldn't tell you yeah. why. I mean, we could we could do a video as a love letter to Rare Breed if we wanted. We. I feel like we kind of have. We kind of have. It didn't <laughs> get published. It was part of our pre-channel launch yeah, practice, practice filming video but yeah we we kind of wrote a, a love letter to rare breed yeah. so yeah the, we like rare breed around here i actually was gonna put rare breed on my list but aaron took it and that's fine because i've got some other things this is very much an aaron list over here and for my list personally i tend to like the flavors to be cranked up a little bit more and rare breed definitely does that from your standard bourbon but I would even go beyond that if given my druthers. So I will take the opportunity to go above and beyond Rare Breed. Do it. And so what you got? We're, I'm going to go to honorable mentions first. Okay. So one of my honorable mentions is probably the bottle that if people came into our home and knew whiskey and they looked through all the bottles that we have would probably say is our best bottle. And it's an honorable mention for you? And that's George T. Stagg 2020. Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, insanely difficult to get your hands on. I got extremely lucky and fortunate to be able to draw this in a lottery mm -hmm. and be able to pick this up for retail. Incredible, I mean, so lucky to have this. And prior to us getting into double blind tastings where it's something we do on our channel where we taste these whiskeys and we don't know what's in either glass. Mm -hmm. We're thinking of interesting matchups. We're pouring them in little sample jars and then we're putting them in this pool of pours. And at the, any given point in time, there could be like 30 or more in there. Yeah. And we don't know what, what's in our glass. So I would have said that Stag would be my hands down number one choice prior to us doing all the blind tastings we've done over the last half year. But 
Since we've been doing that, while this is a fantastic whiskey, it is not the best tasting whiskey for us in blind tastings. So that might be controversial right there. Like this is, this would be an open and shut case for the normal whiskey nerd. This is a hands down yeah. choice, but it's not, it's not my choice. Actually, my next honorable mention is another fan favorite and it's gonna be Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, okay. particularly batch C920. This thing is incredible. This has got all the classic bourbon flavors cranked up to 11. It's, it's a fantastic whiskey. I love everything about Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This batch in particular, it's made okay. a lot of people's best whiskey of the year's list in 2020. As you can see, we're getting pretty low on it. I don't have a backup um, bottle. This one as well. Well, that we can get again, but I, don't, I can't get either one of these again. Ah, uh, gotcha. Very easily. Yeah. They're both like, we're at the point now to where we've gone into nursing mode. These, these are, have turned into special occasion bottles, but I love both of these bottles a ton for mm -hmm. honorable mentions. But my number one best whiskey in this house, best bourbon in this house, Erin broke the rules on her honorable mentions. I didn't break the rules. I bend the rules. I'm going to bend the rules and I'm not going to have a bourbon for my number one. Are we disqualified from this game? We might be. Lance, let us know in the comments below. I don't know, but Lance told us he wanted our absolute best of the best. Okay. Like our best bottle that we own. Hit me with it. And for, for me, that is this bottle right here. Jay Mattingly, blow up your TV. Now, You've never heard of this bottle. I can almost guarantee it. I've never heard of that bottle. Unless, we have it in the house. <laughs> unless you live in the Nashville area and you're a hardcore whiskey enthusiast, you've probably never heard of this bottle. Jay Mattingly is a very small blender in Kentucky and they source all their whiskey from MGP in Indiana. So this says right here on the back, it's distilled in Indiana, stored 13 years in oak barrels. This is 13 wow. year MGP, but here's the catch limited edition, private barrel select, small batch, light whiskey, okay? It's a light whiskey. What does that mean? So light whiskey is just a little bit different. They have different rules than bourbon. So it can go into used barrels. It can go into mm. the barrel at a much higher proof point. It can come out of the barrel, like what it comes out of the barrel as, this is 139 proof. Whoa, 60, Nelly. 69. That'll point. blow up your TV. That will. <laughs> it'll blow your blow up your TV. It'll blow your hair back. It'll make your toes curl. It'll do all the things. And that's it'll what Lance, put the pause in you. It'll put the pause in you. <laughs> that's what we call a callback. Well done. <laughs> so I got you. That right there, like, because it's just so unique. Yeah. And there's just not a lot of these out here. Like this right here, this particular blend was done by the Ajax Turner Company which is a distributor here locally, but they also work with Budweiser a lot. But a lot of their reps here in town got into this competition. There was money on the line, I believe, although that has not been confirmed. I don't know if I'm blowing up anybody's spot with that, <laughs> but there was this whole competition to see which Ajax Turner rep could blend the best bottle of whiskey at Mattingly. This was one of the picks and it was one of the ones that I got and mm. it is incredible. What does it taste like to you? It is a ton of caramel and a ton of cinnamon and a ton of oak and it's all so, it's so sweet all the things it's all it's it's everything that i love the most yeah. in bourbon yeah and it is turn if this is cranked up to 11 this is cranked up to 2011 2011 times well i want to try some this now. is have at it oh this is it in here yeah that's what i'm drinking so oh i love this stuff this bottle right here and this is why this fits lance's categorization here there's only 85 bottles of this that exist in the world of this blend. 139 proof. It's smooth, surprisingly. Yeah. Yeah. It's the flavors are just so intense. And this bottle right here, mm. this is what I pour when I want something really special. As much as I love Stag mm. and I do pour that when I want something special, it's great. As much as I love this C920 Elijah Craig barrel proof and I pour it when I want something great. These do not hold a candle to this right here. And these Jay Mattingly picks in your market, if you can get your hands on one of these Jay Mattingly picks, I do know they're very polarizing. Some people absolutely love them. Some people absolutely hate them. I love them. Well, I, you love this one. Have I, you had more? I love this. I do. I have more over there. Oh. So. Well, what? 
Why don't I know these things? Because these are special bottles. I don't just <laughs> pour them willy nilly. Like, okay. only 85 of these exist in the world. Okay. So, this is something special for very special occasions. Okay. It is phenomenal. Cool. I'm a huge fan. If you can't get Jay Mattingly in your market, look around, try to find some of the Obtanium light whiskey. The light whiskey category, if done well, with like 13, 14, 15 year MGP whiskey, like it is so good. Mm -hmm. And it is so different than this and this. And to me, that, that variance that you get, that mm -hmm. differentiation that you get, just makes it something special. So I absolutely love this stuff. I'm happy, like, I would not have just porn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say. Whoa! <laughs> I was gonna say I would not have just poured a pour of this, but it came out a little bit different than that. So oh I, would not, I would not have just poured this on a random Saturday night, but, oh. you know, here we are. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need a second. I would not have just born. <laughs> All right, so those are our picks. We've got Wild Turkey Rare Breed for Aaron, Jay Mattingly, super special blend for me. Those are our choices. We can't wait to see what Scott and Adriana come up with on their channels. And we hope you guys enjoyed this. Aaron, take us out of here. Well, thank you for watching our special episode. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification to be notified when we post videos. Till next time, guys. Cheers. And also until next time, guys. Oh, man. Cheers. That was a good outro. You messed it up, bro. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, those are our choices. Rare breed. <laughs> I would not have just born. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave that in. And your reaction. No, I mean, do All it. Right. All right. People put that as the blooper reel at the end. People, no, people need to know how we get roll. All right, let's put go. that as the blooper roll. All right. as the blooper reel at the end. That clip. I'll just leave it. In. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right. So, all right. So. <laughs> all right. So. All right. So. So. All right. Yeah. So. I'll put that in as the blooper reel. That's you. You're just making fun of me That's you. in my spastic nature. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Maybe you should work on that. It's a personal problem. I am working on it. Okay. All right. All right. We're all working on things, love. We're all, right. all working on things. <laughs> all right. So that's our list. Wait. All right. <laughs> it's not a list.